Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today's tutorial is going to be showing you how to generate a random frame using Flash and ActionScript 3. So to get started we're going to create a ActionScript 3 file. Then I'm going to import some images onto, or into the library uh, in order to use them later in the tutorial. So I'm just going to select them and then open them and they will show up over here in the library. So now what we're going to do is actually create a button to run the gallery, or not the gallery, but um, the set of images. So what we're going to do is just grab the rectangle tool, set this to like 20, and then that's the corner radius, and then we're going to just drag out a button. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it just needs to work so we can attach action script to it. So I'm going to change the color on that, and then I'm going to add some text to it. Change the color on that too. And we'll call it random. So I'm just going to drag that into the middle of the button. Then we're going to take all that and turn it into a button. So we're going to select it all, hit F8. It's going to bring up this box, convert to a symbol, and we're going to make sure we have button selected. And then we're going to put, we can just call it random. And then what's really important is this instance name right here. You need to come up to the right corner and you need to put in like random underscore BTN because that's easy to remember for later when we're coding it. So I'm going to drag that down to the bottom so it's kind of out of the way. So now what we're going to do is actually label these um, so that we don't get confused. So I'm going to call this one, this layer, button. Then I'm going to right click on that layer and then insert a layer. And I'm going to do that again. And we'll call one of these action script, so AS, and then another one images. So I'm going to drag the images one to the bottom so that's underneath the random uh, button so that we can actually see the uh, button to click it. So now what I'm going to do is select this frame for the button, copy it, and then paste it out in frame 6 because that's how many images I have so it'll make sure that that button's on every frame so that you don't get stuck on an image and can't leave the frame. So now what we're going to do um, is add in the images and my images are pretty large so I'm just going to zoom out and we're going to pull these in. You can see it's very, very large images. So I'm going to scale this down. And I'm just going to center it kind of on the stage. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's obviously not equal to the stage proportion. So I'm just going to try and get it as close as possible and then leave it. Just cover up the white of the stage. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a blank keyframe on the next frame and then I'm going to add an image on that and then keep going on that. So I'm going to pause the video so you guys don't have to watch me continue to scale these images um, and I'll see you in a second. Alright, as you can see I've added an image onto each frame uh, of our little uh, document here so that we can um, cycle through them randomly. So what we're ready to do next is actually add action script. So I'm going to click on the first uh, layer of our action script layer, or our first frame of our action script layer. Then click on the actions frame um, palette here. And then our first action is actually going to be a stop action. So stop, open close parentheses, semicolon. And that's basically going to just stop it uh, whenever you get to uh, the new frame so that it doesn't keep zooming through the images so you have time to look at them. So I'm going to hit enter a couple times. Then we're going to add an event listener to the button we created. So I'm going to put random underscore button or BTN, which is the instance name we gave it. That add event listener and it's a mouse event. So capital M and capital E that and then capital all cap uh, click comma and then we need to come up with a name for the function. So I'm going to call it choose because we're choosing a random frame. So um, close parentheses, semicolon, then hit enter a couple times and we're going to write the function. So function space space choose. Open parentheses, it's an event, colon, it's a mouse event. Again, capital M and E. Close parentheses, semi or uh, colon, and then void, because we're not returning data. And then an open curly bracket, hit enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key, uh, twice I guess. And now what we're going to do is write some variables uh, in order to run the random um, frame math basically. So we're going to write var space and then I'm going to call this one pick number because it's basically the number of pictures. 
then space colon space and then it's going to be a number with a capital N space equal space and then I'm going to put how many pictures I have and since I have six pictures I'm just going to write six and then a colon or a semicolon and then I'm going to hit enter and we're going to make another variable and this one's going to be var space and then we'll just call it random frame and then colon and it's also a number um, with a capital N and then space equals space and then we're going to write our math which math dot seal and the seal basically rounds up the number um, and then I'm going to have parentheses within the parentheses um, you can have it say floor which I think is round down and um, there's some other ones uh, that you can use um, but we're using the round up function for this um, because we don't if it's a decimal we don't want it to round down to zero because there is no zero frame so that would be a problem so we want to make sure it rounds up so I'm going to put math dot random which is the random function within action script and then we're going to multiply that um, with the little asterisk um, by the number of picks so pick underscore number and that's going to give us a random number and then it's going to round that up it's basically a random number within um, six so it's anything from like zero to six and that's going to round it up so I'm going to hit uh, enter again and what we're going to do so that you guys can kind of see what's happening I'm going to actually trace out this statement so I'm going to hold I'm going to press uh, or type in trace and then parenthesis random frame and trace is a good thing to use in uh, documents um, like where you need to see what's happening because if you have a problem it's easier to diagnose it if you can tell where it's happening so if you can trace a word or a variable or something like that um, it might be easier for you to determine the problem so I'm using that just so you guys can see what it does and um, it's pretty helpful in this so I'm going to hit enter again and then we actually need basically once you click on the button we want it to do something so it's actually going to run this variable um, which is random frame so we're going to say um, go to and and then we're going to say stop so it doesn't play through them um, go to and stop and then random frame close parenthesis semicolon so now it should be working um, let's do control test movie it's making the SWF it's exporting it alright so you can see it seems to be working okay we didn't get any immediate errors and then I'm going to click on this and you can see over here in the trace which is it goes to output um, that's what trace does you can see that it chose the number three from that math and then it went to frame three and now it went to two five six 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 again five one and you can see that it randomly goes through all of the images I mean it doesn't really have a set path um, so you can see where this could be easily used for some documents um, if you wanted to start uh, an image gallery on a random image so that every time users come to your site it doesn't look the same um, you'll have a different image or you want to use it for a game so that they get like a random uh, drop or something along the lines of that it's basically um, there's a lot of different applications for this um, so if you wanted to use it that's basically how you can get started um, making the generator so um, I hope you guys learned some stuff in this tutorial um, about action script 3 and random frames um, if you want the action script uh, code for this uh, it'll be on my website um, and I hope that you guys uh, subscribe rate and comment and I'll see you next week thanks